Hi everyone and welcome. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of January 16th through the 22nd of 2023. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribe and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. Card out. Ooh, beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. Way to start your week. Happy home, happy life, getting along with people, dreams coming true, you know, new adventures, jobs, inheritance, money coming into the picture. You're just starting to feel good about yourself. Good business deals are coming. Maybe you've gotten an offer to, you know, financially look into purchasing something for yourself could even be a home you know something that you can afford you are really having some very good luck with money coming into the picture and the seven of rods so defending your choices of course making sure that you know if somebody says something that you're okay with what you've done and the choices that you've made and making sure that everybody understands that the choices you've made is a choice you've made not somebody else has made them for you, that sort of thing. You know, you've been putting off making a decision for a while, so you now you're feeling like you have to um, defend anything that you do in your life. So you're making a stance. You're not, you're not taking this, you know, lying down, so to speak. So you're okay with that. You've done it before. You'll do it again. And it's no skin off your back. And the hangman. So definitely, you know, you're feeling withheld, held back, you know, not trying to make any rocky boats, make some really good decisions in your life. You've listened to both sides of, you know, everything that's going on around you. You've taken, you know, your own decisions into the factor and, but you're not in any hurry. You're still in that holding mode at this in particular time. And, you know, like at everything else, when you decide to step forward and, and uh, make that decision, you'll do what you need to do. You know, there's nothing really holding you back. You're just taking that breath of air for yourself because it's overdue. And the Page of Swords. So defending yourself. Maybe you're realizing that in a relationship that you're in, it's not quite where you want to be so you know you may be having that um, talk as well this week you may have to you know try to make people understand of where you where you're at in your life you know this is some sort of disagreement of some sort that either you've had with somebody or about to have with somebody but you're watching how you say things you know you, you're not just spitting words out because they have no thought or meaning you're what you're putting out there is what's going on around you so you're standing your ground but there is something in the air coming on the knight of pentacles so you know this could be you yourself thinking of taking a trip by yourself there's something for you instead of always having to you know have a tag along or feel like you need to Maybe you're just going to turn the tunes on and take a drive just enough to clear your own thoughts for yourself. Sometimes we all need that refresher. And the Ace of Swords. You know, you're, you were feeling held back or stumped yourself and not knowing which way to go or what to do. You know, it's like God's divine hand here handing it to you. And you realize that it's a gift. And you're also realizing that it's a it's a way for a new beginning for yourself. And you're taking the offer, you know, because you know it will help you in the long run understand where you're at, where you're going. It's an important decision for yourself. So that's beautiful. It's nice to realize when things happen, they happen for good things. And the seven of pentacles. So there you are. Just sort of waiting to see what happens. Seems like your life has been on hold and waiting for, for quite some time. 
you know, and it does become daunting, you know, but you've had a lot of patience. You've, you know, you put a lot of things in your life on hold in order to see where it's going to go into the future. And, you know, but you're also really realizing that you have to make some sort of decision for yourself because it, you can't be just left on the back burner anymore. You're taking control of your impulses. You're realizing that, you know, I have to take this situation and, and make it work for me into the future. So that's beautiful. And the queen of pentacles. So you're watching for good bargains. You know, you're looking into perhaps um, making some investments in the future. So, you know, this person's very good with their finances or you're talking to a finance person. You know, you're looking at how can you save money in the future so you can have what you want. Maybe you're thinking of starting a business for yourself, but it takes capital gains. So you're, you know, looking into that, trying to save that little bit of money away. And you're realizing that if, you know, I invest it into this, it will pay me more. And it's, you know, whether I save it every month myself or I put it in here and I get extra in the in the future. But you have a timeline that you're setting for yourself. So you're looking for the best business ideas to start you're looking for you know which way for your money is going to go in the future and the strength card you definitely have the strength and determination to do this so you've you know this could be a, a pay raise that you've now gotten so it's you know you're feeling more optimistic about things maybe something settled in in your favor so you know you've learned to curb your impulses and try to hold yourself back a little bit in the past to make sure that you know you had enough in the future that sort of thing but you're controlling of everything and people places and things around you is good in one hand but you're also realizing that it's also controlling you so you're learning to try to find a even balance and the Page of Pentacles, so very nice. New beginnings, you know, opportunities are knocking at your door. You're starting to realize that, you know, people appreciate you and, and they're sort of like handing you help. And though you'll have to work for it, you're okay with that because you realize that what's on the table and offer going, looking forward, it's a positive for yourself and the Devil card. So you're realizing what's also hold you back. You know, you're, you've are you been very careful in your life and you're, you know, always, everybody's always worried about other people's opinions, but nobody gets to know what goes on behind closed doors unless you tell them, you know, and you're not going to do that anymore. You're, you know, setting yourself free in a lot of ways. You've realized what's held you back, what's slowed you down, and you're just avoiding people, places, and things like that. You're learning to set yourself free into the future. Ooh, and the two cups very nice you know maybe you've ran into an old friend that you haven't seen for a while and they give you that different you know outlook on what's going on or maybe this could have been somebody that you were you know romantically uh involved with from the past and you know the the flames heat up a little bit more maybe they've tracked you down you know saying that they knew you in school or something and you know, they always wondered what happened to you, that sort of thing. And, and you're just feeling, wow, they actually still care about me or did, you know, that sort of thing, which is very nice. So it could be the beginning of a new relationship for some of you. And the King of Swords. So there you are, you know, you're no longer fooling around. You're attacking problems head on. You're feeling more optimistic. You realize where you stand in life now, what you can have and can't have and where your options are. And it gives you more clarity in life. You know, if you're working all the time and you're paying bills all the time and, and you can't seem to see, you know, even a spark of a dollar left at the end of the month, eventually that makes you a very unhappy person. So you're realizing that you know, with this clarity and with this new investments that you're you're thinking of getting off the pro off uh, off your ground, and you're starting to solve solutions and problems in your own life, that it's giving you that optimistic outlook in life, and you're willing to do that for yourself now. 
and the Empress. So very nice. Abundance coming in. Security is coming in. You're feeling more optimistic now. You know, your projects are starting to get off the ground. You don't feel like you're always, you know, stealing Peter to pay Paul, that sort of thing. I know you're, which you've sunk your investments into or your thoughts have now started to show that they're starting to grow in the right direction. So you're learning that, you know, you can't always have what you want, but in time it will happen. And the Nine of Rods, so having to defend your choices. You know, nothing's worse than, you know, making a choice and then somebody from the past goes along and, and says, well, told you to do that a long time ago, that sort of thing. And you're just not willing to take that from nobody anymore, which is good for you. You know, you've got enough going and rolling around in your own head. You don't need to be judged by others. You know, there's no question that you know what you got to do. It's just a matter of trying to get it together to be able to do it. And there you go. Good, solid foundation. Four of rods. So good for you. You know, things are starting to come together. You're feeling the light at the end of the tunnel. You can see it. That sort of thing. You know, you have that renewed optimism about yourself. You know, you're, you're realizing you're on the right path. You can see your, your accomplishments going forward. You're just feeling more optimistic. So that's beautiful. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. Sometimes our decisions in life are hard, but you'll have that little bit of remorse, but you will move on because you know it's the right step for you. All right. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love. Like an angel upon earth, and all its inhabitants. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. All right, Sagittarius. On that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.